The NIIC building, it's on Warwick University campus. Um, it, today is the official opening ceremony and we're wel welcoming, welcoming um, HRH, Prince of Wales, to the building today. Um, this building is a, a culmination of about 10 years worth of work now between uh, Warwick University, uh, Warwick Manufacturing Group, Jaguar Land Rover and Tata Motors and uh, UK Government to, to, to fund this fantastic facility. So this new building has got some great new uh, facilities for us. It's got the new engineering hall that we're in today. We've got uh, electrical laboratories, we've got connectivity labs, we've got attribute area, we've got virtual reality facility, we've got design studios, and we've got a, mod a new modeling shop and NC um, cutting, uh, with NC cutting capability. Well, Tata Universe will redefine electric vehicles uh, for, uh, for India. Um, this facility is helping us develop the EV vehicles of the future uh, for, for the Indian market and bringing the greatest minds together from automotive and from academia in order to do that. This building has been designed around collaboration. It's got many joint working areas in order to bring the automotive engineers together with uh, members of academia uh, to share ideas and develop new solutions for the future. Its whole purpose is around sharing ideas, even if that's just through general conversations in the corridor, to actually providing the working facilities that we, where we can all work together and actually see those ideas through to full working solutions for our new vehicles. I personally have been here through the uh, first moving in of this building. Um, was, I was involved in the, uh, the initial design of the facility as well, and so from that design to actually moving in and getting people working on new products for the future is immensely satisfying. Uh, this building will be used to redefine the way that we introduce electric vehicles into the Indian, Indian market. It's a great milestone celebrating the opening of the NAIC right at the start of the 75th anniversary of Tata Motors. It uh, underlines our strong commitment to responsible and sustainable solutions for the long term of mobility, addressing the most urgent uh, needs of the hour. The NEIC is a very special setup for us, because facing the challenge of, we of what we call connected electric, shared and safe, we bring the brightest minds under one roof here at the NEIC, aligning with academia on the one, uh, and joining forces with our colleagues at Jaguar Land Rover to jointly develop uh, solutions which address the demand, but even more so which fit into the market reality of India. Bringing the, the brightest minds from the academia and uh, from the research and development uh, and technology uh, of two large corporates as it is Jaguar Land Rover on the one, Tata Motors on the other side and being closely connected to the very active startup scene here in the UK and in general uh, in Europe is going to give us a unique opportunity to work on solutions which address the most urgent challenges as it is connected, electric, shared and safety. And for India it's not about uh, going autonomous. But we have been actively participating in the UK-driven auto drive as far as autonomous mobility is concerned. The learning translated into action as far as enhancement of safety is concerned, call it active driver assistance systems, advanced driver assistance systems, is something that really creates an on-ground impact uh, in India. And having all of these competences together here at Nike it's uh, an important part of Tata Motors' uh, endeavor to, endeavor to address what we call SES. We at Tata Motors got confronted by a change from a CapEx model to an OPEX model when tenders got launched uh, by the so-called state transport undertakings, tenders for electric buses. And we all of a sudden had to realize it's no longer about the bus that gets invested, it's about the intention to pay by use of a complete solution from the infrastructure, electric charging points, 
to the product, to, to the bus as such, all the way operating the bus and even selling the tickets on the bus while it's on duty. And you might ask the question, what is the link between the Tata universe uh, and today's opening of the NAIC? There's a very close link because lots of the elements which finally found their home in the Tata universe had actually started uh, and had their cradle here at uh, the NAIC, the electric powertrain solution, the question of charging infrastructure for the future. And I do recall one day we were sitting here uh, and we said which of the components are to be considered core in order to have highest local added value in India to really take India to the next level, not only to do some electrification for India, to possibly establish India as a hub for electric uh, solutions, not electric mobility, electric mobility solutions, so going beyond, again, the vehicle as such, and getting ready for the export of complete, uh, for the export uh, of complete solutions. What is the future of mobility? It's about responsible and sustainable solutions. How do we normally express the challenge of responsible and sustainable solutions? It's not just e-mobility, it's the combination, as far as future technologies is concerned, related to connected, electric, shared and safety. Under the umbrella of NAIC, you find uh, dedicated space for all of these future disruptive technologies. You find the required uh, laboratory space that's needed to actually develop the solutions and to provide the proof of concept. And at the same point of time, in close collaboration between what takes place in the research and technology phase at the NAIC, being closely connected to the home base of Tata Motors in India, trying to seek right from the beginning for the opportunity to localize these components and to make it at the same point of time where as we bring the technology to India, to make it affordable. The Indian market is highly competitive, but just being competitive doesn't mean that it, do, that it does not need uh, all the future technologies uh, in an affordable envelope so that we can really bring it uh, to the customers and that we can, chart, that we can change uh, the structure uh, of mobility on the Indian roads. What really drives technology? It's the people. And it's the way you actually connect academia with the professionals uh, in the particular industry, in our case, in the automotive industry. Ideally, as it was the vision of late Professor Lord Bhattacharya, to bring all of them under one roof. In order to force them, literally speaking, to work together as closest as possible, to actually bring the input from the academia uh, into the business, in order to ensure that everything that comes from the academia is a fresh and new thought, possibly out of the box as far as the initial thinking of, is it customer relevant? Can it be afforded by the customers? Does it really provide the answer of the most needed questions uh, of the industry? To immediately sound uh, these kind of ideas uh, with the operational, with the business professionals to see where to put priorities. And I think NAIC has exactly become the home of this very early thought process uh, of uh, Professor Lord Bhattacharya. Because he managed with this building uh, to get uh, a huge brain pool under one umbrella, while at the same point of time being deeply rooted not only in trust in academia, but also in the business. Uh, to really create something that's relevant, something that can actually be uh, commercialized, as we usually call it, uh, and something that can provide answers uh, to the most urgent questions that the industry is currently facing. And this is all around technology. The answer is not in what we know today. The answer in what, uh, is in what we can develop for the future. This is the place where these ideas uh, get brought together. That's the place where we actually provide the proof or concept, and where we have in simultaneously uh, the activities going to ensure that all of these ideas will not just be for the purpose of a whiteboard, that these ideas will finally be in order to change uh, the mobility space uh, in India. But uh, I think our aspiration is that this powerhouse uh, of uh, research and technology is going to provide solutions which go far beyond uh, the applications of Jaguar Land Rover for the global markets, 
uh, and uh, the solutions at Tata Motors for primarily the domestic Indian market.